Today we're going to be talking about my favorite camera accessories, whether you have a DSLR camera or you're just using your phone. These apply regardless of the situation and they should be must-haves in your business. My name is Hannah and I am an educator for agriculture businesses who want to expand their stakeholder engagement through photos. So let's get into this. First one is tripods. Absolutely, you need a tripod. Regardless of if you are using a cell phone or a DSLR camera, you need a tripod. Tripods help you maximize your ability to have a stable, clear, crisp image. I personally love tripods. Tripods are your second individual when you are a one-man show, which a lot of the time for businesses, it is the single owner who, at the beginning who is doing it and a tripod lets you to have hands-free. I'm using a tripod right now to record this video and it is great. It means I don't have to awkwardly sit in a room talking this video out to another human being and I can just sit in my room with cats and talk it out to them and it's so much better. So tripods work really well to ensure that you are having a stable picture all of the time because you're not going to be using your hands and there's going to be no camera shake and it's perfect and it's great and it's wonderful and it means you can avoid the awkwardness of talking this out to somebody else. The next one is the remote shutter and a remote shutter. Oh, sorry. That was, that was long. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> um, but a remote shutter is what we use when we want to take a picture and we can't be next to our cameras. So remote shutters are little items that connect to a camera or our phones digitally through Bluetooth. And when we press the button, it takes the picture. If I'm 15 feet away and I point my remote shutter at my camera or my cell phone, it will take the picture even though I'm not next to it. And so they work really well and it means you're not fiddling with the timer section. Um, but that being said, if you can't afford a remote shutter or don't have the opportunity to get one right away, utilize your timer button, frame your shot, set up your shot, or even better, use the video portion of your phone go take a video, set out your shot, and anytime you change your pose while in the video, just make sure you pause there for five seconds. That way you can go back and screenshot or export that image that you wanted to get, but you didn't have a shutter or didn't want to fool with the timer. Now, the best way to avoid all of this extra work is to just get a remote shutter because then you can actually capture the image right then and there without having to worry. The next one is filters or screen protectors. And I cannot, and I mean I cannot, express how important these are to your business. Like, if you drop your camera and it didn't lands lens first and you do not have a filter on the end of your lens, then you have just cracked your expensive lens. If you drop your filter, or sorry, if you drop your camera lens first and you do have a filter, there is a chance that your lens is going to be okay. Because the filter, that $35 filter is going to save your camera lens and it's going to take the brunt of the impact and shatter, but it means your camera lens did not. And so, get the filters. They're important. They add an extra layer of protection for when accidents happen. Same goes for your phone. Use your phone and get the screen protector, one that comes with the camera protector for the fun of your phone. Because how often do we accidentally drop our phones or chuck them into bags or into cars or across rooms or throw them to people or things like that and the wind takes the tripod and it falls over and so it's important to protect your assets, protect the tools that you use on a regular basis. And one of the key ways to do this is to get the screen protector for both your back camera and your front camera. It's worth it, I promise you. Just invest in it. It'll make a world of difference. The next one is filters, or not filters, reflectors, sorry. And reflectors are items used to bounce light. So currently I have a giant window on this side and the window is projecting all kinds of light onto my face. And because there's not a window on this side, my face has some shadow. Now a reflector, can be as simple as a piece of paper, right? And all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring that paper up close enough to reflect some light back into the shadow. So as you can see, depending on how close the paper is, it's reflecting the light. And when it's not there, we have shadow. When it is there, that shadow is filled in. 
And so you want to invest in a reflector that's going to fill in some of that shadow and ensure that you have a more natural and evenly lit picture or video, depending on what you're going for. So I'm not going to hold my book up, but yeah, in invest in reflectors because they take your shadow and they fill it in and it's beautiful and it's literally that simple. Like literally that simple. It's, it's great. Now, that being said, if you don't have the opportunity to have a big window that's going to do most of the work for you in lighting, you should consider getting an LED light. A consistent light that you can turn on and off, maybe one that you can control how bright it is, how warm it is, how cool the lighting is. Um, that might be a little too advanced depending on where you're at, where you're starting from, but if you're just looking for something to mimic a giant window, an LED light that turns on and off is great for that because you'll have your LED light over here and you'll have your reflector over here somewhere reflecting the light back onto you and so it will be evenly lit and you will look magical and professional and great. So reflectors and LED lights super important to have as camera accessories to enhance the lighting situation that you're dealing with. The next one is a camera bag and I know this may sound silly but investing in a camera bag or when you're transporting your camera, super important. The amount of times that I've had people tell me that they accidentally broke their camera because it was just floating around in their backpack with no true protection, breaks my heart for the cameras. You need to have proper protection for the tools in your business. And a camera bag helps you get that proper protection does not need to be an expensive one, but it needs to be one that holds your camera well and will protect it in a manner that is designed to do so. I personally value my camera so much that when I put my camera bag into my car, I actually still built it in because I don't want it shifting anywhere and I want to ensure that my camera is being protected in the best way possible. So, camera bag. Now, if you're using your cell phone, the equivalent to a camera bag is a heavy duty case. Give the tools for your business the protection that they deserve to work effectively for your business. I understand that investing in a phone case might seem silly, but if it saves you from having to buy a new phone, it'll be worth it. I, that's just plain and simple. It'll be worth it. I guarantee that investing in proper protection for your tools for your business are always worth it. And the last one, and this one hits close to home this week because it is an external hard drive. Now, I don't know about you, but I actually have three pieces of technology that I work off of when dealing with content creation and images. I have my cell phone, I have my big PC at home, and I have my laptop that I use when I'm traveling and have more heavy duty work to do when I'm, that my cell phone just can't. That's two weeks ago. Both my computer, my PC, and my laptop decide to stop working. And the reason why external hard drives are so important is because for my PC, what happened was the internal hard drive was corrupted by a file and it caused my computer to stay in this constant and it would start up and then shut down and then start up and shut down and I could not get it out of this loop. And that meant that I was not able to get any information off of my internal hard drive. So what needed to happen is I needed to remove my internal hard drive and all of the information and data it was carrying and get rid of it. Thankfully, I was taught to always back up your backups. And so I had all of my files on my internal hard drive backed up to the cloud and I had them backed up to an external hard drive. So while I was waiting for a new internal hard drive to arrive, I still could work on my files to the external one and they were all there and they were all protected and they were all safe. If you are somebody who is going to be taking photos or taking videos and you want them for the long term, invest in an external hard drive and online cloud storage. And here's the reason I say both. External hard drives mean that you don't have to store anything on your computer, which keeps your computer running faster and more effectively. So if you can work off your external hard drive and put all of your files there, it makes life so much easier. However, life happens and sometimes technology fails us. 
or natural disasters occur. I know that my little province has been dealing with flooding and fires recently, and if all your files are only on an external hard drive and not on the cloud, and a fire or a flood or another natural disaster happens to hit your phone and you lose all of that, it's devastating. So by having it all backed up to a cloud as well, means that you're just covered on all bases. And yes, online cloud storage can be scary. One of my favorite type sites though is called sync.com. They are a little more on the expensive side, but when it comes to data recovery and protection, they're Canadian, so they follow the Canadian encryption laws. They're encrypted, they follow the Canadian privacy laws, which are a little more in depth than the American ones. So if you're a Canadian and you're afraid to go with online cloud storage, sync.com really good as they're Canadian and they follow the Canadian laws and they're completely encrypted so your stuff is safe it's yours you can sync your online cloud storage with your external hard drive so anytime a file is added to your external hard drive it automatically uploads to the cloud it's beautiful it's wonderful and it's definitely a lifesaver and if you know you're going to have a lot of files to deal with I highly recommend getting an external hard drive and syncing it to the cloud so that is my suggestions for top camera accessories, whether you're using a cell phone or a digital DSLR camera, because they will go and they will help you and make life easier and just they're worth the investment. If you can not take a shortcut, but invest in your business in reasonable ways that will make life easier, it'll be worth it. And of course, I have linked some stuff down in the description below so that you don't have to go searching for the best ones or the budget-friendly ones. I found them all for you, so the hard part is over. You just gotta click the link and add these tools into your business. And you're done. It's perfect. It's great. It's awesome. And I cannot say enough how vital these are to business development and how vital these tools are just in general if you want to be more successful in what you're doing. So go check the description below, get the links, invest in these tools for your business, and I'll see you next time. Bye.